it's a really, really delicate balance because there's this delicate balance between focus on task and focus on relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I do want to focus on the task. I, I want to be somewhat assertive, but I know if I go too far with that, I can completely alienate this person and now I've irrevocably damaged this relationship and maybe caused more problem than I should have had before. Oh, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> we were just waiting for you. <laughs> now, and if you look at that, that's exactly what's going up on here. These are the more lenient responses, and it becomes progressively more assertive. What's the problem if we're too lenient? What's the problem with a number one or number two response? You're training them. You can get away say that with louder. It. You're training them that they can get away with it. Doesn't Dr. Bill say you teach people how to treat you mm -hmm. and how to treat the team? The problem is this. As soon as you kind of excuse the behavior, you're not only sending that message to them, who else are you sending it to? Everybody. You're sending it to everybody else. Because guess what? Now when he comes in next week because he doesn't have his stuff, I've set a precedent. You know, so how can I not give him a pass when I just gave him a pass? So, you know, that's really the difficulty. And if you're too harsh, what's the potential problem? Alienation. Alienation. Now they're passive aggressive. Mm -hmm. Now they're like, oh, this is how she's going to be. Well, you know, I'll just let her drive over a cliff. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> you know? Or it's like Mark was saying. I mean, maybe I don't have that legitimate authority. Maybe they really are volunteering their time. I can't be but so aggressive with them. I have to be very, very careful about that line. It's a really, really interesting scenario, which is why I brought it to you guys. <laughs> really, really, because we've all been there. And it's really the crux of this accountability issue. How do we walk that line? What do we really say? And again, I do think it's very contextual. It depends on what the action item was, the person, the context. But let me offer to you, something that I really developed over time to really build this culture of accountability. I just turn to Luke and I say, thanks so much for letting me know. Which action item was that? Oh, that was number 32. Wonderful. When we get to number 32 in our action item review, please just give your update to the group. <laughs> she had it? <laughs> What have I done with that response? Social responsibility. Yeah. The team will take care of it. Exactly. And that's what tends to happen. The team has this wonderful way of being able to discern how we should respond. Now notice, did I give him a pass and say it was okay? No. Did I chastise him and tell him, you're Satan, you're going to hell? No. I didn't do that either because it's really not my judgment to make. Whose judgment is it? The team. the team. And what's really critical in that moment is the acknowledgement that really what's going on is he's trying to shift that accountability from him to me. And what have I done? All I've done is put it back on him. No value judgment. That's not for me to make. But I've made a clear statement saying, running up to me right before the meeting is not going to work. Once you accept a task or an action item, we're really serious about accountability. And that's the culture that we're building here. And people learn very quickly. They really, really do.